Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make just this simple rope simulations as a follow up to my cloth simulation tutorial because rope simulations are basically fancy cloth simulations. Anyway, yeah, let's get started. Also, please subscribe. I know it's very um, unappealing to subscribe to a small channel, it's quite a weird thing, but please do subscribe. Could do it for support, it helps me keep making tutorials. Anyway, yep, let's get straight into it. And so, first of all, delete the default cube and press Shift A and add a single vertice. For this, if you haven't already activated it, you'll need an add on which just comes free of Blender. I think it's called something like Extra Objects. Yeah, add mesh extra objects. Just make sure that's checked and then you'll have all those extra objects. And add a single vert. It'll automatically put you in edit mode as you can see. So just go to your side view, press E, then press Control to snap it. Press E again and press Control to snap it to the next grid square again. And you get the idea. Just do that four or five times. Then press A and right click and press subdivide. Yep, press subdivide a bunch of times like this until you've got quite a few verts along there then you can tab out of edit mode actually just press tab to go back in select the first vertice go down here to the object data panel object data properties and add a vertex group and then click assign that's all you have to do for now you can just keep it as group and yeah now tab out next thing you can do is add a modifier add a skin modifier and enable smooth shading kind of makes it look like it's round even though it's not round then tab back into edit mode press a press control a to scale it down why is it not control s i don't know um because everything else is s in blender everything else is s in blender um yeah so then you can tab back out of edit mode looks like a rope now now i can go back down to physics and enable cloth physics here Go straight down to the shape and the pin group is our group that we made of the first vertex. This basically means that everything else moves except for the first group. That was probably a bad thing to zoom into at the time, to be honest. Um, then go down to collisions and enable self collisions just so it looks quite nice. Now we just simply add our plane move it down with GZ, scale it up a bit, that's overly long scale, oops, alright, so now, oh, I just went straight through it, wait a minute, hmm. oh yeah, we didn't add a collision, go to the particle, go to the particle settings, I was like, I was wondering, oh, why is it not going? Why is it not colliding? Go over to your particle settings on your plane and add a collision particle settings. And just leave it at that. And now you see it collides. Okay, it's working now. That's basically the rope simulation itself. How I did for render things, I just changed one of for render settings as you saw with the lighting effect I changed one of the light colours to blue press shift D to duplicate it change the other one to yellow and why they're point lights change them to area lights and change it to the other one's colour to yellow move it away a bit so you can see whether like two lights collide and press S to scale up your area lights. And then go to your plane and set the material to a nice dark blue. Purplish colour, like this. And also go to your world settings up here over the globe and set your colour to black. That's basically how I did it. 
it's another super quick tutorial that I make it the last minute because I realised I had to release a tutorial today. By the way, that satisfying animation, or my attempt at it anyway, and I said there will be a tutorial soon, there will be a tutorial soon, it's just I haven't had the time for it right now. I keep trying to make it, and I keep failing at making it. It will come out, hopefully it will come out this week. Yeah, I set a deadline for myself, it will come out this week. Anyway, share this video, subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I just literally just said subscribe. Only a small percentage of people who watch our videos and subscribe, subscribe.